it's Dr. Pryor and today I want to talk about the health benefits of the Macambo bean. I picked these up at the health food store um, and I just eat a few of them every once in a while to have a varied diet and uh, anyone who knows me knows I love beans and I want to try and eat all the beans in the world. I know it's unrealistic. There's like 40,000 different beans in the world, but I'm giving it a go. Yeah. So this is a healthy bean. It grows in the tree canopies of the uh, South American rainforest. It's a close cousin to the cacao tree. They, the cacao is Theobroma cacao. The Macambo bean is Theobroma uh, bicolor is its Latin name. And so you see they're related. And they both have an alkaloid called theobromine in it and theobromine is related to caffeine and it's not quite as stimulating but it does give you energy and it really helps with the state of uh, well-being so very good and it also is high in antioxidants it has a ORAC which stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity of 24,300 and something to compare it with dark chocolate has an ORAC of 20,823 so you see it's even better antioxidant than dark chocolate it has many it's high and it has many polyphenols in it which all exert health benefits it's not as high in quercetin and camphorol as cacao, but it's a thousand times greater in a flavonoid called nerissetin. And I found this study on nerissetin. I'm just going to read what it is good for. Wow, good, good for a lot of things. So it has a therapeutic effect on many diseases, including tumors of different types, inflammatory diseases, atherosclerosis, thrombosis, cerebral ischemia, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and pathogenic micro microbial infections. It also regulates many genes. It, uh, it also uh, improves cardiac dysfunction and it is a powerful antiviral. So it has a lot of health benefits, yeah. And another thing it can do, it can improve your brain function because it has many essential fatty acids in it, which our brain needs many essential fatty acids. It's high in dietary fiber. It has nine grams per one ounce serving. Just to compare, black beans have two ounces per one ounce serving, so very high in fiber and fiber can improve your bowel function it can also help you feel full and it has been shown people with higher fiber diets do have are uh, better have better weights and you can even lose weight by eating a lot of fiber in your diet it also has a high omega-9 another plant um, high omega-9 is olives and that's why olive oil is so good for your heart and omega-9 has been shown to improve your cholesterol improve your immune function and may even prevent cancer so yeah very powerful yeah so this bean has a lot of health benefits and it's a tasty bean in my opinion it does have a very unique flavor um, what you can do with these, you can just eat them as a snack like you would any other seed or nut. Or you can crush them up and put them on a salad or in soups or even on a sundae, kind of like peanuts. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to try one and you can see I like them. Yeah. So you might pick these up. Give them a try. They have a lot of health benefits. This is what they look like and they're just crunchy. I'll show you. See? So, anyways, guys, I'll finish this when the show's over because it's very crunchy. So, I love you guys. 
if you could like this, it would encourage me. And if you could subscribe, I really want to get more subscribers because I'm very discouraged at 70 only. I may, I put so much time and effort in these videos and yeah, I want to get a hundred at least by a year of making these videos or I've decided I'm going to stop this channel. Guys, I am accepting patience. You can reach out to me on my Instagram. Well, you guys have a good night, okay? Bye.